uh, today we want to talk to you about one of the first things that we ever actually worked on, which is our Silent Hill nurses. Um, and they're a little spoopy. Ah! One of the main things that we used in our nurses was plaster, and it's really easy to use, and we want to tell you a couple things about it. Yes. Oh, you, only you have flowers. You don't have your flowers. We have flowers. Jesus Christ. So the reason that we chose plaster um, for one of the first things we did was because it's so easy to use. We didn't have a lot of experience making really anything, so we picked something that we had easy access to. It was readily available at the Michaels that was right down the street from us. Um, cheap. Very cheap, really which important. is important because we don't have a lot of money, which is fine. Um, you didn't really need anything else with it, too. You can pretty much, you don't need like glue or anything. All you need is some water and it sticks to itself, which is yes. awesome. So, when we first did this, we underestimated how messy it would be. And how messy we would be how, with it. My God. It was plaster everywhere. So, you need to prepare for that. Lay out lots and lots of cleanup sheet, paper, whatever you want to don't care sheets. about. Because it's, it's everywhere. Um, so, yeah, on top of it being really messy, the, one of the reasons why it is so messy is because you would cut it up in strips and then you dip it in the water and then you wring it out. And when you do that, it just kind of goes everywhere. So, when you do that and you lay it down, you can kind of work with it to make it as smooth as you can, which it's not really going to get that smooth, but you, you can kind of smooth it down and like place it upon itself and it'll stick. One of the drawbacks about plaster, however, is that it's never going to be super smooth. So if you're looking for a super smooth finish, you can use plaster, but you have to follow up with an additional step, such as like sanding it down with Bondo, which takes a really, really long time. We did that for another helmet of ours, and it just took forever, and then that was the first and last time we did that, and we'll never do that again. Bondo is the worst! But it is really good if you do want that rough finish, and you want something to look really organic or really just like gross and like and like head wrappy, which was really yeah. nice. For we wanted to look like we we're wearing bandages on our head because that's what the the little the nurses look like, and it was perfect. It was perfect for us. We looked good. We were pretty cool. So pretty. Another good thing about about plaster is that you don't need to seal it with anything. Um, a lot of different materials require some kind of sealant, be it like plastic dip, um, wood glue, something like that, in order to paint. Um, plaster, as soon as it dries, you can just paint right on it and it, it help, holds the color, it doesn't run or anything. We made these, I don't know, three, three years ago and it's held up pretty well. And they are hard. I could wear this in a motorcycle. Probably yeah. not. I wouldn't recommend that. But you look cool doing it. You know, they, it holds up well over time. And this is still to date one of the favorite things that we have. And you can kind of see in here how like you wanted to have like partial um, bits of it actually look like um, a wrap, and you could kind of smooth in the parts that you didn't want to. So like in the corners here, you could really smooth that out. So it gets a really organic, gross feel to it. Doesn't smell that bad either. Goodbye, thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah, it looks very nice.